Hello, my name is Trent Bush. I'm a member of the ISBA's Committee on Legal Technology. And for today's tech tip, I'm gonna show you a very handy tool that's currently on your computer that you may not use called the snipping tool. Once you use it, you'll use it every day. Okay, so here we are on our computer and we're gonna show you the snipping tool. First thing is we have to know where to find it on our computer. For some reason, it's buried far down and we need to dig it out. So let's do that first. We're going to click on the Windows button here at the bottom left hand corner. There's two different ways to find it. Number one is you can scroll through all your programs. Here we're going to go to all of our programs, accessories, and you'll see right here is the snipping tool. Now because you'll be using this program all the time, what we want to do is put it on our taskbar. And our taskbar is this little section of our screen right down here for those programs that you use all the time. So what we want to do is pin this to our taskbar. And we can do that by simply right-clicking on the program, click Pin to Taskbar, and there the snipping tool will always be there when you have your computer going. There's another way to find snipping tool, and you can simply do that by using the search feature within Windows and you'll see when we start clicking snipping or typing snipping tool that it appears right at the top. So snipping tool is simply a way to capture anything that you currently see on your computer screen and copy it to your clipboard and use it for whatever purpose you need to use it for. So let's say we're writing a brief on the history of the ISBA and we found some interesting materials on the web. We went to the ISBA's website and we see here in the history section we've got a portrait of two women that were involved with the ISBA. So we want to bring that image over to our brief. This can be done very quickly by using the snipping tool. All we're going to do is click snipping tool. It activates the program. You'll see the rest of the screen around snipping tool is now grayed out. And you'll also see that our cursor has turned into a crossbar. What that means is you can drag and drop to select a portion of the screen that you want to clip to capture. So I just am dragging this cursor to the area that I want to capture. And I'm going to release my left button. And the snipping tool has grabbed that image. The snipping tool also automatically makes that uh, copies that to your clipboard. So we're going to go back to our document and we're going to simply click paste because it's in our clipboard and boom there's the photo that we wanted to incorporate into our brief. Now let's go back to our other document. Not only can you copy and paste it into new documents, let's say we wanted to actually preserve it for later use. All right, so we already have an image in there. We want to click New to clear that out. You can see it gives us a fresh area. So let's say we want to capture this whole thing. We can then save this to a client file. We can email it. We can write on it. Let's say we want to make some notes for ourselves or we want to color some pictures on there. You can do all of these features. You can highlight text from the selection. You can do all of that and then save it, put it into a different document, uh, whatever you need to. I have found this particularly useful when you get error messages on your computer that you need to send to somebody. You don't want to write down that whole long code that shows up with your error message. So when an error message pops up, I simply click my snipping tool. Let's say this is the message right here. I copy it. I click email, send snip. It automatically puts it into your email message and it's ready to send. You may also find this very useful when you want to preserve the formatting of a brief or when you've got an issue um, with issues where the original content of the document is important to preserve. So here, this is a brief that was actually filed where the issue was the uh, whether the signature on the will was valid. So what we wanted to do is preserve all of the formatting and the actual image of the document. So rather than requiring the judge to flip back and forth from 
the documents that were relevant, we wanted to have that all readily accessible in the brief itself. So we simply, we had all the documents scanned in, they were all PDFs, so we simply selected the text or the section of the documents that we wanted to use, dropped it into our documents, and you'll see here, we're able to take all those source documents that were attached as exhibits to the motion for summary judgment and drop that in. Very easy way to uh, use all of that information and put it into your document in a very useful format. So once again, that is the snipping tool. Put it on your taskbar and I think you'll use it on a daily basis. Thank you.